Hey Nick, so I thought this would be the easiest way to give you guys a little tour of the center uh, for all my martial arts friends. Um, so this is our uh, dojo, right? And this is kind of where it all began. Um, this is our new dojo actually. So we've got about 400-ish uh, actively training enrolled members. Uh, so this is where lots of fun happens and we do traditional Shaolin Kempo Karate along with Melanie Schumann's amazing uh, skills program. So here's all the martial arts stuff. And now I'm going to take you through the rest of the center where things get a little bit more interesting. So we we'll go into Quester's Way. And this is actually kind of the back of the center. Uh, over here you have the adventure room. So we do all kinds of, uh, on the weekends we do birthday parties, uh, a couple of rooms. We do birthday parties, seven on Saturdays, five on Sundays. So at full capacity, we run about 12 a weekend. Um, all different themes. This is set up for a space theme. Uh, during the week, this is the community and social room. So we have not-for-profits that use this space. Uh, we teach things like Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering, chess, um, all kinds of things that in, you know involve positive social interactions. Um, over here you've got the think tank and these are two project-based rooms. Um, our whole thing is education and personal development uh, through the way that the student wants to experience it. So on the right side we do everything from um, uh, creative writing and poetry to painting and drawing. Um, they learn cartooning and illustrating all kinds of cool stuff in there. And on the left side, the left brain stuff, they do building, they do science, they do crazy experiments. Um, you know, we even do things, we teach uh, sign language, uh, all kinds of cool stuff in there. Um, and then over here, you've got our movement-based rooms. We call this Move U uh, for Movement University. So this is our dance floor. Uh, we teach everything from classical ballet to hip hop and break dancing. So break dancing is one of my favorites, watching the little kids you know, with all their attitude is awesome. Um, we also have all of our fitness programming in here. So we have a, a you know, AIM fitness kickboxing program. Uh, yoga and Tai Chi for adults. We do tumbling, we do cheer in this room. Um, and between Move You and the Think Tank, the idea is to let students kind of choose past pathways that engage both the body and the brain in a way that makes sense for them for what they want. So if we have an adult and they're looking for stress management, they can mix things like Tai Chi, yoga, and color unwind, which is a, actually a stress management through just these really intricate cool coloring things so now we're going to go through so that's kind of the back half of the center um, as we move up here a uh, big part of really living a, a healthy lifestyle is food so we have our cafe um, everything we do in our cafe is healthy um, nothing's fried you can see the kitchen back there that's actually called a combi oven um, everything's cooked with just hot air and moisture we do healthy smoothies, uh, we have really yummy coffee. Um, we do mac macronutrient balanced meals, so you know the right balance of protein, carb, and healthy fats like coconut oil, uh, grapeseed oil, that kind of thing. So uh, a lot of families, they'll you know, do their classes and then they're hanging out eating dinner together afterwards. Command Central, it's where we control all of the chaos in this place. Um, and of course, you have to have play. You know, that's a big part of it. So we've got Pebble Park. Um, there's unstructured and structured uh, activities that happen in here. So we have a whole game-based learning curriculum that's good for the kids. Um, there's this giant playscape. And I designed this place so that it felt like an outdoor park inside. So no hot, you know, McDonald's playground colors. I mean, nothing against McDonald's, but that's not what we're looking for. Um, you know, the idea was to use kind of more earthy tones. Um, a little bit more soothing for the kids as they're getting riled up. This thing is ridiculous. It goes up four levels. There's all kinds of ways that they can climb through here. Uh, it's awesome watching the kids come out beat red and sweaty. They get such a workout playing in here. Uh, and then there's also just games like, I mean, we've got foosball and air hockey. Um, we have board games and puzzles, basketball. Um, every element of the park is interactive. They can move it. They can climb on it. They can slide down it. Um, there are quotes. Uh, woven into the carpet and the wall. Uh, this wall was actually done by a guy from Texas. He hand airbrushed this whole thing. It was amazing to watch. Uh, so we picked out all the quotes. You know, one of my favorites over here, make each day your masterpiece. Uh, we have a rock traversing wall, um, so it lets them pick different colors and move across. They even play rock wall twister with this thing. It's hilarious. 
uh, soft zone for our mini me's so they have their own area and um, and we staff this with educators so we have um, especially high school and college students that are considering going into or studying uh, to go into education um, and they get to do all kinds of you know cool activities with the kids it's all voluntary um, we also have all kinds of spontaneous just outbursts of programming in here. So last week we had bongo drums and our music teacher was playing music with whoever just happened to be in the park. So the idea is just, it's a, it's a place for the families of our communities to just grow and thrive and interact. And it's all unique to them um, as individuals. And, you know, and that's what we do. So programs like our Go Beyond the Grades program it's kind of what led to all of this because the whole idea behind Go Beyond the Grades was how can we as martial artists, and which means we are teachers, we're teaching martial arts, how can we help our um, students um, you know, succeed in school legitimately? So we teach them ways to um, you know, kind of set themselves up to reduce cortisol levels and reduce stress so that they can learn better. We help them understand how to socialize, social emotional learning with uh, um, you know, with other kids and how to get a better connection with their teacher. Just going full circle now. Back to where it all began. And really, this is where it all started. And this is, for me, you know, all I am is, uh, you know, martial artist, just like the rest of you have been in this community for about almost 25 years now. And uh, just having fun and trying to make a difference. So, there you go.